All right, how's it going? Let's take a look at finding the inverse of a quadratic function. Now, I'll have several videos on this. Uh, check them out. Uh, each one will have a different problem. All right, so we've got f of x is equal to x plus 3 squared for x greater than or equal to negative 3. All right, so before we get started, let's, let's talk about this part right here the x greater than or equal to negative. Whoop, I'm sorry. All right, so a little glitch there, but everything's fine. So let's take a look at this x greater than or equal to negative 3. Why is that there? Well, if you look at the graph of this thing, x plus 3 squared, we're, we're over here at negative 3, and that's the vertex, and that's a parabola that opens upward. All right. Now, if you look at this, notice if you draw a horizontal line through this thing, it fails the horizontal line test. So that means this function here is not one-to-one. -one. So that means it doesn't have an inverse. But what we've done here is we've restricted the domain for x to be greater than or equal to negative 3. So that means we're only dealing with x values from negative 3 back to infinity. So that means we're not using this part of the graph. So now you can see if you draw a horizontal line through there, it only intersects in one spot. That means it's one to one, so it has an inverse. All right, so that'll be, that'll be important towards the end of the problem. And we'll talk about this more at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. So remember, to find the inverse, we want to take the f of x and we want to change it to y. And so that gives us y equals x plus 3 squared. And then we swap the x's and y's. So that's x is equal to y plus 3 squared. And then we have to do what? Well, we solve for y. So we need to take the square root of both sides because we have this squared term here. So that's going to give me y plus 3 is equal to the square root of x. All right, now, this is where students always mess up. They'll usually just write this right here. But remember, it's not that. We're using the square root property by taking the square root of both sides. So don't forget to put the plus or minus out front. Okay. And then to solve this, I'm going to need to subtract 3 to both sides. And so that's going to give me y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of x. So let's come up here and separate this. y is equal to negative 3 plus square root of x or y is equal to negative 3 minus square root of x. Now, which one is it? Well, let's talk about that. So, this right here, this x is greater than or equal to negative 3. What we've done is we've restricted the domain of this function. So what we're saying is this x that is greater than or equal to negative 3, that's the domain of this function here. Now, what you've got to remember about when you're finding the inverse, okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and write this down first. We're looking for f, prime, f inverse, f inverse x. What is it? Well, the domain of the function, remember, that is the range of the inverse, so the domain of our function, x greater than or equal to negative 3, well, remember, that's the same thing as negative 3 to infinity, right? If you're going from negative 3 greater than, that's to the right, so that's negative 3 to infinity. So that's the domain of the function. Well, we need this 
to be the range of our inverse. So which one of these functions is going to give us a range, that means the output, right, of this? Well, it's going to be this one. Because if you look at negative 3, because remember, whenever you take the square root of something, you're always getting a positive number, 0 or a positive number. So that means we're taking negative 3 and we're adding a positive number to it. So that means these values here are just going to be larger than negative 3 that we get out. But this one, we're subtracting a positive number. So if I do negative 3 minus a positive number, that's going to give me values to the left of negative 3 that are less than negative 3. So that's how I know this one's not it. And this is our inverse. And so our inverse is negative 3 plus the square root of x. And there's your solution. So I hope the video helped. Check out the other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.